This has warned more sanctions on Iran after its drone attack and missile attacks on Israel. U.S. officials said that the new sanctions to cut down Iran's military capabilities will be announced in the coming days. It has also uh, said that it expects more Western allies to take similar action. Take a listen. Um, with respect to sanctions, I fully expect that we will take additional sanctions action against Iran in the coming days. From this weekend's attacks to the Houthi attacks in the Red Sea, Iran's actions threaten the region's stability and could cause economic spillovers. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan said President Biden is coordinating with partners, including the G7 and bipartisan leaders in Congress, on a comprehensive response. The action will be taken to target Iran's missile and drone program, as well as the Revolutionary Guard and the Iranian Defense Ministry. Earlier, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen said actions seeking to reduce Iran's capacity to export oil could also be taken. She added that the U.S. is looking to work with G7 partners and countries, including China, to constrain Iran's ability to access goods needed to build weapons. The G7 nations are meeting in Italy amid soaring tensions in the Middle East. Meanwhile, EU foreign policy chief Joseph Burrell said the bloc is working to expand its sanctions on Iran in response to Tehran's attack on Israel. Washington's current sanctions on Iran ban nearly all U.S. trade with the country. They also block the government's assets in the U.S. and prohibit U.S. foreign assistance and arms sales. U.S. concerns have included Iran's nuclear program, human rights abuses, and its support for groups that the U.S. sees as terrorists. Getting other partners to impose multilateral sanctions on Tehran is seen as a significant move by the U.S. to do more in this regard. Meanwhile, House Republican leaders have accused President Biden of failing to enforce existing measures. They are promising to take up a series of bills to sharpen the sanctions against Iran. Among them is legislation that will increase congressional oversight of sanction waivers, tighten restrictions on the export of U.S. goods and technology to Iran as well. The measure will require the administration to ensure humanitarian exemptions to the sanctions do not facilitate terrorism or the proliferation of weapons of mass destruction. For all the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.